John, our second defeat of the season, what do you put it down to? I don't quite know at the moment. Uh, I've got to go and sort of uh, watch the game back and, and, and try and get the, uh, you know, the reasons as to why we've, we've lost the game. I suppose my, my snapshot reaction in terms of the last 20 minutes, the reason we lost the, the game there was because that one all, I thought we were really in the ascendancy, had chance after chance. We weren't clinical enough in, um, in their box. And when they had the chance, they, they put it in the back of the net, showed a bit of coolness and calmness uh, in the penalty area and, and punished us. So, yeah, really disappointing. We, we didn't manage the game well enough late on, obviously, and um, yeah, we've been punished. You changed things up around the 70-minute mark. You went to a, a back three. How do you think that worked? I thought we worked really well. It, it was um, Obviously, the shape change helped. I thought it was less about the shape, more about the attacking intent, the players we got on the pitch. Having those sort of five real attack-minded players at that stage when the game was opening up, I thought worked really well for us. We got a goal that I thought we thoroughly deserved, and, and after that, I thought there was only one team that was going to win the game, and uh, that makes it, I think, a uh, you know, doubly bitter blow to take. Yeah, how disappointing is it to concede that late goal, especially as after the equaliser, we just went for it and went for it. Yeah, and we've got to make sure that we balance off going for it and making sure that we don't leave ourselves exposed to the back. We obviously want to try and win games, and that was the intent. We. Um, towards the end with the, the side I thought that was trying to win the game their goalkeeper got booked for time wasting uh, ultimately we, they have won the game so we can't have too much of a pot but yeah, you know, fair enough um, it's just one of those things that we have to make sure that we yeah, get the right balance I suppose we, we desperately wanted to, to win the game and we have to make sure we don't do it at the expense of conceding goals later on It wasn't a case of a lack of effort out there today but what elements of the performance needed to be better across the 90 minutes? So I thought for the first 45 we were okay, we controlled the game pretty well, especially after the first 15 minutes, quieted the crowd down, didn't really hear much in terms of atmosphere and the biggest criticism I had at half time was just the lack of quality in the final third. So we got ourselves into good positions, we crossed the ball behind the goal a couple of times, crossed the ball into the goalkeeper's hands, didn't really get at them enough and didn't create anything I don't think in the first half, maybe one Colby header. Uh, and then for the first 20 minutes of the second half, probably leading up to the Bristol Rovers goal, I, I, I thought we just lost our heads a bit, we, we made some rash decisions and, and that got the crowd on side. Obviously Bristol Rovers um, got a bit of wind in their tails and, and got the goal. And, and at that point I thought, well, yeah, we needed to change something. The last um, sort of 20 minutes I thought, after, especially after we closed, I thought we were excellent. Uh, we've just got to make sure that we don't play in patches like we did today. There's one change to the line-up ahead of the game. What was the thinking behind bringing Gavin in? Gavin in? Just to freshen things up really, I thought that um, you know, in terms of bringing um, Paddy out on the side, he'd had a really heavy workload over the past few weeks. I thought Gavin did really sharp when he came in against Bolton. Uh, he scored obviously uh, in the EFL Trophy and then I thought he was probably one of our, well he was the, you know, the, one, the substitute that created the most at the weekend and had a couple of chances that he maybe he scores on another day. So yeah, it was about bringing, um, bringing some fresh legs in and effort levels, physicality, I, I don't think that was anything that, that cost us today. It was probably more a couple of um, just lapses mentally that, that, that did for us. Last time we suffered a bit of adversity in terms of a defeat was against Blackpool. We all know what happened after that. So what can you take, what can you learn from that period? I know that the lads are very, very resilient in terms of how they did bounce back after that Blackpool game and put on a really professional performance against Burton. And we're going to have to do it again. We're going to have to go again um, on Friday against Exeter, again on Monday against Stevenage. Really tough games. All games at this level we've seen today, all games at this level are really difficult. So we've got to make sure that we... I mean, we, we Sort of knuckle down, do the right things and go and try and win both of them. And what's your message to the supporters? Because the lads are really going to need them on Friday and, and at Fratton Park on Monday as well. Yeah, and it, you know, they're going to sort of come down and support when they drove again. It's, a, I think, a tough place to come and watch uh, football here as, as an away fan. And, uh, you know, they were, they were brilliant again today. Uh, the, the Boxing Day fixture is always one that's special in the calendar. And, uh, you know, the, the fans came down, they were loud, they come in their numbers as they always do. So, hey, the message is to, to stick with us, um, have faith in, in the boys, and we'll make sure that, uh, yeah, we, we go again on Friday.